Hello and welcome to this edition of NBA Talk on the Crucial Baskets Network. Uh, today we're just going to do some quick reaction to Game 1 of the NBA Finals where we saw the Golden State Warriors defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers 113-91 and take a 1-0 series lead. The Golden State Warriors came into this series undefeated going 12-0 during the conference portion of the postseason and they are now 13-0 as they did just about everything right on the court tonight in Oakland. Uh, Golden State did have trouble shooting overall going 42.5 percent from the field however they still got out in transition they had an amazing assist to turnover ratio to the tune of 31 to 4 including a 20 to 1 assist to turnover ratio at the half uh, Kevin Durant was relentless throwing it down on the fast break Cleveland's trying to make a decision on rather to stop the shooters in transition or Durant himself they chose the shooters Durant chose the rim ultimately Kevin Durant had an amazing game you kind of expected that he would considering he understands the gravity of the situation he finished with 38 points eight rebounds and eight assists but then Steph Curry who has had a history of struggling in the NBA Finals also had a great game finishing with 28 points 10 assists and six rebounds on 11 of 22 shooting so great performances from those two on the other end offensively Draymond Green and Klay Thompson struggled offensively Draymond Green finishing with only nine points had four fouls and went three of 12 from the field while Klay Thompson had six points four assists on three of 16 shooting including going 0 for 5 from outside however they both still managed to do a fantastic job on the defensive end and that's really helpful where even if you go cold you still have the the focus to get on the other end and contribute defensively and that really went a long way in helping the Warriors get the win the game was close at first 35 to 30 after the first quarter but then the Warriors went on three different runs that essentially uh, defined the game for them they went on an 8-2 run early in the second quarter they went on a 13-0 run to start the third quarter then they went on another 13-1 run to end third and that was ultimately how this game was decided meanwhile for Cleveland they just came out sloppy it may have just had to do with having a plan but not really fully expecting what the Golden State Warriors had to handle. As great as Cleveland has been in this postseason, they haven't faced anybody like the Cleveland Cavaliers, and they found that out the hard way. Uh, LeBron still managed to have a, a pretty good game. He had 28 points, 15 rebounds, and 8 assists, but he also had 8 turnovers and shot 9 of 20 from the field. Meanwhile, Kyrie Irving had his 24 points on 10 of 22 shooting, so not bad for him, but he also had four turnovers. And then Kevin Love pulling down 21 rebounds. He also had 15 points, but he was one of seven on two-point field goals. So it sucks that he wasn't able to convert the many rebounds he collected into some shots inside, but he did still go for a six from outside. The problem comes with everyone else outside of those three, that while those three had a bit of a flawed game, they still made big contributions. On the other hand, the Cleveland bench and then the other two starters in Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith, they brought absolutely nothing to the table. It's especially surprising that Tristan Thompson wasn't able to get involved considering the type of hustle that he usually brings to each game. He ended up being neutralized there. Meanwhile, Kyle Korver, Darren Williams, and Derek Williams were 0 for 9 from the field and considering that those three were brought in specifically to help off of the bench to be a, a super bench it's really unfortunate that they weren't able to bring anything to the table in game number one we'll see if that trend continues in game number two but those three are really going to need to step it up and then J.R. Smith is also gonna have to step it up from outside he went one of four finishing with only three points so there you have it the Warriors got out on the break they forced all the turnovers and passed the ball all over the court just sharing is caring for Golden State and it helped them take a one nothing lead in the NBA Finals the next game is on Sunday night on ABC I'm Raymond Sims have a good one